Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' campaign launch on Twitter last night maybe did not start as planned. The event on Twitter Spaces, which is like an online conference area, suffered tech glitches and crashed several times. About 20 minutes after the scheduled start, DeSantis was able to speak. Well, I am running for president of the United States to lead our great American comeback. Look, we know our country's going in the wrong direction. We see it with our eyes and we feel it in our bones. The DeSantis campaign insisted that the technical problem showed just how many people were flooding Twitter eager for his campaign. Minutes after DeSantis launched the campaign, former President Trump posted an attack ad on his social network. The ad depicts DeSantis as a Trump imposter. Wow. Joining us now is Jonathan Martin, Politico's politics bureau chief and senior political columnist. Jonathan, how do you read it? Hey, good morning. Uh, it was not the launch that DeSantis started, uh, wanted rather, and it really puts an exclamation point on his rough uh, five months since the midterms. He had a great re-election in Florida. There was a, a lot of hope among anti-Trump folks in the GOP that uh, we finally found our guy. And obviously, this has not been the way they wanted to, to get the campaign uh, launched. Look, he, he wanted uh, to do an unconventional announcement to get more attention. And he did that. But it just is not, not the kind of attention I think they crave. Well, I, I disagree, Jonathan. I mean, it's, you know, my old, my former boss, Mike Bloomberg, used to say there's no bad bad press, right? But it's, you know, everybody was talking about it. I, every national news outlet was basically talking about these technical glitches. It was a 15 or 20 minute delay. Yeah. That's it. And that's the headline. Everybody was talking. I wonder if it's a huge win, by the way, for Elon Musk, because everybody now is talking about Twitter and probably wondering if they need to be on Twitter. It was a 15 to 20 minute delay. DeSantis took a bunch of questions. As far as I'm, as far as I know, Jonathan, they were maybe you know unscripted, right? I, I mean, yeah. I don't. What was it? Everyone is trying to pile on. I just don't know if it was the disaster that the headlines are making it out to be. Well, look, it, it's not how they wanted to start the campaign. The it was whole a slight point delay. Launch... It was a slight technical issue. What's? I. I that's where I, politicians walk yeah. out twenty minutes because, late all the time. Because the coverage, frankly, is going to be unforgiving because the coverage has been rough for the last six months about the Santos, and this is only going to make it worse. And in this stage of the primary campaign, uh, that coverage is really, really important. And for a lot of Republicans who were desperate to find a Trump alternative and thought they had found one, it's only going to raise more questions and prompt more grumbling, which is then going to create harsher coverage. I've seen the cycle before. I know how it works, and that's what's going to happen here. Doesn't mean he can't be the nominee next year, but it just means he has more work cut out for him. And in the short term, it's only going to embolden other Republicans to either A, go mm. forward with campaigns, or B, reconsider running for president, yeah. because we've now seen him uh, stumble out of the gates. Although, yeah, it's a fair point, Jonathan. I mean, I will say, just looking at the coverage last night, after it this morning, there's been, like, more coverage about a 15- to 20-minute tech delay on DeSantis than about the fact that, you know, let's be honest, if you're the press and you're in the member of the White House press corps, you almost never hear from the president. He's done almost historically low numbers of press conferences. Shouldn't yeah, we give that. these candidates at least credit for coming out and taking random questions. I think if, you're, if I was a member of the White House press corps, I'd be champing at the bit to say, hey, we need to hear from the president more in an unscripted live fashion. Like, I'm not defending DeSantis. Well, I'm, saying, sure. I'm saying it's amazing the level of outrage on one side, but we don't hear from the president on the other. I think there's plenty of anger in the Washington press corps that Biden never talks to the press. And part of the there, reason there is. why is the is that, White House... Is that, I mean, if you're down there, is that, is that a fair statement? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. He does historically little in the way of, of press access. And the reason why the White House is losing the messaging war on the debt ceiling fight is because McCarthy and his lieutenants talk to the press at least twice a day, every day. And Biden rarely addresses the press about this issue. And his lieutenants negotiating never talk to the press about the issue. So it's actually hurting them when it comes to that debate. On, on this question of DeSantis, look, his whole strategy in Florida has been you know, to run against the media, run against the media, make them a, uh, a boogeyman. And look, that absolutely helps with the GOP base, which doesn't like the press. It's a tactic that can be effective. 
but it's also a tactic that can create challenges because when you're running for president, it's not just dealing with the Florida media. It's an entirely new set of challenges. And like it or not, the national press does set the narrative when it comes to the pre-primary jockeying, the year before the primary, what used to be called the invisible primary. The coverage is really important, and he's not done himself any favors so far, I think, by re refusing to engage with the press war. And the question now is, is that going to change here in the weeks and months yeah. ahead? I can and tell you this. This morning, real fast, a lot of candidates – who are thinking about running, who are already running themselves, who are not named Ron DeSantis, are thrilled because they see an opening. 